up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we got quite a special one. We're reviewing Grant's fucking insane Toyota Altezza, which is pushing over 700 horsepower with its 2JZ swapped engine. Uh, we're just gonna take it around in these country roads for a bit of a boost. Talk about the build because it's been something that I've been keeping an eye on for a while. He's been building it up over the last few years. So when Grant originally bought this Altezza, he thought he was just going to daily it, you know, drive it around town, and then, I don't know, because he just got a bit bored of the power, and he's like, what's the most logical thing to do? Chuck a fucking 2JZ uh, in it. So, so like I said before, it's now pushing over 700 horsepower with a Borg Warner 6678 turbo, and we've got all the cooling modifications to make sure something like that stays cool. body kit on it which makes it 40 mil wider in the front and 50 mil wider in the back plenty of room to fit some super meaty tires so he's got some nankang ar1s on the back some semi slicks and that's just really to get all that power to the ground he's also got the big wing on the back and that's just for some extra downforce make sure that uh yeah it can really get all that power to the ground because i think before you were having quite a few traction issues before oh, you yeah. got the semi slicks and the, and the wing and whatnot yeah i remember Grant took me for a drive in this car. Um, well, it must be like a year ago now, eh? Yeah, over a year. Um, right? Back before he had a, a bit, yeah, a bit less power, but also <laughs> way less traction. And we went for a drive, and he was just sliding everywhere. So we're currently driving on low boost, which is around 500 horsepower. And then, uh, yeah, when you really want to step it up, you can just flick one of these switches here and you can get the full 700 horsepower straight to the rear wheels and that, that powers to the wheels, right? Yeah, to the yeah, wheels. 700 horsepower to the wheels. Uh, and a car that weighs, you know, 13, 1400 kgs, it, it does the trick. So, yeah. Oh, we've got all the, all the gauges here you could ever need. Manual gearbox, 2JZ, it's great. And um, you know, I've driven uh, you know, next to Grant a fair few times on the highway and stuff. Uh, but it actually handles, like now that we're out on the country roads, it actually handles really well around the corners, you know. I don't think you'd be offended as it's more like a, a functional car yeah. than, a, than a pretty stance car. Exactly. You know, this car is made to have fun. It's not... Not some stancy boy, you know. Uh, we got plenty of room from wheel to fender. Make sure you're not going to fuck anything up when you, you know, come out into these country roads and hit some bumps. And this thing, when you see this thing squat from the back, it really fucking, it really gets down and it really squats. So we've been driving the car for a few minutes now, still getting kind of used to it. It's quite, um, not, it's honestly, it's not as difficult to handle as I thought it would be. It's quite stable for what it is. Um, we've got a unsprung twin plate clutch uh, in the car and that's, it's pretty savage. It's either on or off pretty much. Um, it takes a bit to get used to. I've stored it a few times, I'm gonna lie. And we've got the manual R154 out of the Supers. So solid gearbox, feels really, really nice just in both of the gears. And when this thing, you know, it's a huge turbo got on here, but when it gets up to like 4,000 RPM, it just fucking shoots you. So we haven't really done a full um, big pull yet. We've got a bit of traffic in front of us now, but we'll get that. converted it to drive by wire so that just um, helps a lot with the responsiveness and do things like flat foot shifting and boost by gear everything's done by uh, ST High Tech a shop here in Auckland they do a lot of GTRs pretty much anything with an RB or a 2JZ there pushing this much power you got to make sure that you can stop properly so we got some big billboard brakes in the front and they do a good job I've seen Grant have to <laughs> brake pretty pretty hard in the past a little bit squirrely when you get on the brakes but not too bad even worse 
four and a half thousand up here. <laughs> certified and everything so it's it's all good to be on the road but uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, for the drive 
I had a great time. Thank you so much, man. All good, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. So if you did, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment on what you think of Grant's car. I'll put his Instagram on the screen now. I probably already did it. And it'll be in the description. So go give him a follow. Check out his awesome build. He's always uploading two-step videos and shit like that. Crazy car. Uh, I'm really honored to get to drive it. Super fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.